Okay, here right now, creating this video, and it's a project here, and I'm calling it uh, PowerDirector 12 Preview Rendering. Now, right here, I set up four clips, and I didn't mean to do this, trying to set this up on the fly. I've actually rendered it. You actually see these green bars for preview rendering. So right now, I'm going to go to this clip. You're getting a lot of people say, well, I'm putting some effects in my video clips. And when I go to playback and render, you see right now, this is going to play pretty smooth. I want to cut that audio off. But it's playing pretty smooth. Now, one thing you can do when you do that, because you put effects in there, it gives the computer a lot more work to do. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this clip. And I'm going to go in and say Fix and Enhance. And I'll go ahead and put it Compare. And I'm going to do Color Adjustment. Color Adjustment just really gives a lot of work to do. And I'm just going to add some contrast, add some saturation, some vibrance, and I'm going to add some sharpening. You see, let's put that little eye in there. And I'm even going to go in and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of video enhancement. Okay, I've done that. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to play it now to see how jumpy it is. See, it's pretty jumpy. Now, one thing I could do is I can go up here and I got my preview set on uh, real time and I got the quality set on HD preview resolution. Now I could go back here and I could say low resolution. Now we'll see how this plays. So that don't look too good. <laughs> so I'll go in here and we'll try this one. Normal. Still looks pretty bad. I've added a lot of things to it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to set it on what I normally have it set. HD re resolution. You see, I play it, it's still pretty jumpy. Added a lot of effects. So one of the best things that they put in these programs, video editing, is I'm going to bring this at the beginning of my clip. And I call this the scrubber. And, I, and since I'm going to move it, there's this little yellow bar. And hopefully this moves okay for me. And so I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to hold the shift key. And I'm going to move this, try to move it. I don't know if it's giving me trouble or my mouse needs to be clean. But I'm going to move it like this. Shift, see if I grab it this time right. Now I'm stretching the timeline. There's what I wanted to do. Sorry about that, but uh, I don't know if it's because. But see, one of the th now I got new buttons up here. One is I could say produce this range. That would create a file to my hard drive, like I was producing it. Just wanted to produce this part of the video and save it to a file, like you would normally do up here at produce. But I'm going to do a render preview. So here I hit the render preview. And as you see, I get this thing popping up here where it's rendering it. Depending on the effects you put in, it can uh, it can take it a while. 
and you'll see you see your green bars progressing along how it's doing it. You know, I don't know if you've noticed if you put a video video clips in, edit them, and trim them down and everything, and you produce your file without putting no effects in it. Then you do a video f the same size project, and you put a bunch of effects in. When you go to render it at the same settings maybe you used before, it takes a lot longer. The computer's got a lot of work to do. And like I said, this is a tool that they've put in that if you're wanting to look at your effects and stuff you put in at a pretty good quality, this will help you out a lot. And like I said, I'm doing this on the fly. It's not uh, something that I've sat down and really planned out that much. It's just easier for me to show people <laughs> than it is to sit and type it all out at times. You see, it's getting close to being done. As I said, I put a lot of effects in there. And I don't know, I'm uh, sitting here running this Windows Media Encoder. See, it's got it all rendered. I got green bars all across the area that I put the effects in. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to play this area and see how much better it does on playback. Now that is a lot smoother. Like I said, it could maybe look better, but like I said, I got the computer working hard at capturing this screen too. And I hope this helps some of you. Like I said, I'll bring her back here. Play it back. It looks a lot better than it did, and I got a pretty good preview quality. And hope this helps everybody, and thank you.